Judas, one of the twelve, came, and with him a multitude with swords and clubs from the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders. Now he who betrayed him had given them a sign, saying, Whomever I will kiss, that is he, seize him and lead him away safely. When he had come, immediately he came to him and said, Rabbi, Rabbi, and kissed him. They laid their hands on him and seized him. But a certain one of those who stood by drew his sword and struck the servant of the high priest and cut off his ear. Jesus answered them, Have you come out as against a robber with swords and clubs to seize me? I was daily with you in the temple teaching, and you didn't arrest me. But this is so that the scriptures might be fulfilled. They all left him and fled. A certain young man followed him, having a linen cloth thrown around himself over his naked body. The young men grabbed him, but he left the linen cloth and fled from them naked. They led Jesus away to the high priest. All the chief priests, the elders, and the scribes came together with him. Peter had followed him from a distance until he came to the court of the high priest. He was sitting with the officers and warming himself in the light of the fire. Now the chief priests and the whole council sought witnesses against Jesus to put him to death and found none. For many gave false testimony against him, and their testimony didn't agree with each other. Some stood up and gave false testimony against him, saying, We heard him say, I will destroy this temple that is made with hands, and in three days I will build another made without hands. Even so, their testimony did not agree.